Hey guys, it's Matt here with FXPM, and in this video I want to talk about the FXPM order management system. Again, FXPM is all about solving problems. Over the course of the five plus years that we've been developing software, we've surveyed hundreds if not thousands of traders in an effort to solve some of the biggest problems that traders make. So before I actually explain how the order system works, let's take a look at some of these results. So on my screen right now is the platform that most of the buy and sell mistakes are made. What we mean by this is mistakes like when you mean to hit buy and you accidentally hit sell. Believe it or not, 100% of the traders that have came through our free trial have said that they have made this mistake. And here are the different platforms that it happens most frequently on. Most of these platforms all have horizontal order management systems. So in the heat of the moment when things are quick, you're very prone to making these mistakes. Now you would think that these mistakes happen to newer traders, but as it turns out, there's really no effect on who it's happening to. When traders take the survey, we have traders who have five plus years of experience and some that have less than six months. So this is a purely mechanical mistake. It has no correlation with, an ex with your experience as a trader. So now we'll move over to the platform and show you how we've solved one of the biggest mistakes that's made in Forex trading today. So you'll notice with our system, the buy and sell buttons are positioned vertically. We actually have a patent pending on this order entry system for a couple of different reasons. One is the vertical order entry system, buying low, selling high, which is common sense. Now, the other cool thing about this platform is when you buy, your order information is going to show up on this side right here. Now, if I close the position and take a sell position, your order information is going to show up up here. So in the rare chance that you do make this mistake, which I don't know of any documented cases happening with FXPM, you can notice right away because your order information is displayed in a very visual way where you pick up on mistakes almost immediately. So I'll go ahead and close that. Now, the same thing is true when you open what you call an IBD, which is the order system on the charting. It works the exact same way. So let's talk about the rest of the order system. When you take a position and your auto pro is already checked, that just means it's auto protecting. So you can see that when your order goes in, you already have your limit and your stop price. These are set in your OCO order interface right here. So you can change your default stop and limit when you log into the software if you want to use different settings. So here I have a euro dollar and then I have a different chart. This is the dollar yen five minute chart and I'll go ahead and take a couple positions. You can see these positions in your order management window here which is part of the main platform. Typically I have this on a separate screen. I'm just bunching it all on here in one window for this recording. So here you'll see the lot size, the price at which you entered, and the price of your stop and limit. You'll also see your profit in pips and your profit in dollars. You can close the trade one of two ways. One by hitting the close button, which will close everything, or you can offset the position by selling what you've bought. Now, if you're in multiple positions, right now I'm in one mini lot. Let's say I, or I'll just go ahead and add another one. So I'm in two. So if you want to scale in or scale out of the trade, then you typically manage it by hitting the buy or sell buttons. So if I want to close half of this, I can go ahead and sell one mini lot. And now I just have my second position that's left. You can also close your orders by right clicking and hit close order. And you'll see that it leaves the order management and it also leaves the IBD here on the chart. You can also close it by hitting close over here. So now you can see that we have no open positions. Then if you want to go back and see what you've done during your session, you can go to active session and it'll show you all the details of your orders. So again, that's how you manage trades from the FXPM platform. 
If you want to learn more about some of the crazy statistics that we learned through our survey results, keep checking back on our blog because we'll be publishing all the results that we've been getting with our surveys. So again, for more information on that, visit our blog. 